imagine this guy right here having to take care of all these people right here in five hours, six hours. It's almost impossible. What do you want to say to the owner of this facility? Shame on you. Shame on you. We are hearing from family members of the survivors of the nursing home tragedy in Hollywood where eight seniors died. The family members are demanding answers. What led the facility to leave more than 100 seniors without power living in unbearable heat? And so now a criminal investigation is underway. Local 10 News reporter Nikki Mohan leads our team coverage live from Hollywood with more. Nikki. Calvin and Lori, a search warrant has been signed but has not yet been executed here at the rehabilitation centers of Hollywood Hills. Meanwhile, today we are hearing firsthand from first responders what it was like inside of this building after they got that 911 call and realized they had a mass emergency on their hands. They looked like they were dehydrated. Um, you know, some of them looked compromised. Um, it, it was a situation where we knew we had to get those patients evacuated. Judy Frum, chief nursing officer at Memorial Regional, rushed into the rehabilitation centers of Hollywood Hills after patients started showing up to her emergency room, in her words, severely compromised. This is what she saw as she entered the overwhelmingly hot building. We saw a bunch of staff and they were extraordinarily stressed and panicked trying to move patients into a, uh, there was a room right beyond the nurse's station on the first floor that had fans blowing. They were really trying to get patients moved to those areas. A search warrant has been signed and will be executed inside the rehabilitation centers of Hollywood Hills. Part of the criminal investigation into the conditions that led to that mass evacuation Wednesday because of unbearable heat post Hurricane Irma. The most vulnerable in our society are the very old and the very young. The death toll stands at eight. Many of the sick and elderly still critical at area hospitals after that evacuation Wednesday morning when paramedics responded to two 911 calls, one for a heart attack, one for a person having breathing problems. That's when rescue crews started taking patients out. They found that it may have been too late for some. Three individuals were found deceased on the second floor of the facility and uh, multiple other patients in varying degrees of medical distress. Many were wheeled into the Memorial Regional right next door while a triage was set up on the sidewalk in the shade for the more able bodied. Emergency Medical Director Dr. Randy Katz applauds his team for their dedication and quick thinking. This evacuation happened at a time when there were a lot of available hands. And luckily for us, that was the change of shift. We had a number of providers leaving the hospital and a number of providers coming into the hospital at the same time. Our staff as Judy mentioned, recognized there was an issue across the street, had already mobilized our MCI, and a lot of our staff left the emergency department with stretchers and wheelchairs and, and other modes of transportation. The folks at Memorial Healthcare would like to say they could not do this alone without Hollywood PD and Fire Rescue. They're very grateful to them for helping them in their emergency efforts. Now back to that criminal investigation again. A search warrant has been signed, has not yet been executed. Right now they are not, they don't know when they'll have any new information for us. But of course, when they do, we'll bring it to you. Live in Hollywood, Nikki Mohan, Local 10 News. So Nikki, until there's a search warrant, they can't interview the staff? You know, um, Lori, I'm not sure if um, I, you know, if they have interviewed the staff. I'm sure they've started that process, but the search warrant, they need to enter the building and document physical evidence in their criminal investigation. When emergency crews went in yesterday, it was just to grab people and get out. Now begins the process of documenting what is inside this building. The facility is shut down. It's cordoned off by tape, and that's what that search warrant will give them insight into what clues there are in there as to what led up in this situation. Lori? All right. Nikki Mohan live right there in Hollywood. Thank you. And understaffing appears to be the main complaint from family members with loved ones in Hollywood Hills. Local 10 News reporter Amy Battieri spoke with concerned families and she continues our live team coverage now from Hollywood. Amy. Well, Calvin, so many family members so outraged about what happened here, saying regardless of what the conditions were inside this facility because of Hurricane Irma, there is no excuse for what they say the lack of care is that so many residents here received. Ultimately, as you know, eight people lost their lives, and the daughter of one resident here, her mother doing okay today, but she says this is not the first time she's had a safety concern. Police and fire and crime scene tape, and I go, what is this? 
And Did your heart sink? In that yes, moment? I thought mother was one of the, the people that had died. Evangelina Mulder says her 93-year-old mother, Bertha Aguiar, suffers from Alzheimer's disease and has been stressed since she was evacuated from the rehabilitation center at Hollywood Hills Tuesday. Mulder says she didn't know her mother was moved to Memorial Regional Hospital just next door until she saw it on Local 10 News. Staffing is short. You know, that it could have been prevented. These people don't ha didn't have to die. In all, eight people lost their lives after being stuck inside the facility without working AC due to Hurricane Irma. Among them, 84-year-old Betty Hibbard. Longtime friend Jean Johnson says she was worried about the heat when she visited her friend this week. And Betty can't hardly breathe. I said, isn't she supposed to have oxygen on? I know she is. And they said, oh, she's all right. Also gone, 99-year-old Albertina Vega and 78-year-old... Etherly. Vendetta Craig says her mother, Edna Jefferson, is doing well after being evacuated, but she has strong words for the center she trusted with her mother's care. We throw our elderly away. They're a cash crop. It's, it's not necessary. That's my mother, somebody's mother, somebody's sister, somebody's father. It's not a, it's, it's, they're not dollar signs. Mulder says whatever happens with the investigation, her mother won't be going back. This is like the third strike with us because I walked in one time and I discovered uh, um, that she had had um, a stroke. I discovered the stroke. Now we did reach out to the Rehabilitation Center of Hollywood Hills to ask them about those staffing concerns from family members of residents and a spokesperson did get back to me saying that at all times during and after Hurricane Irma, staffing levels exceeded the state requirements for staff to patient ratios. But about those staff to patient ratios, the woman that we interviewed, Evangelina Mulder, and her attorney believe that is something that the state legislature seriously needs to take a look at when it comes to nursing homes and other facilities like this, saying perhaps the state requirements are just not strong enough. We're live in Hollywood. Amy Pateri, Local 10 News.